Estimates suggest billions of dollars have been spent training these LLMs. They can draft legal documents, they can debug some complex code. However, they cannot solve the simple task of comparing two lists of UUIDs. What is a UUID? For those that work in the tech world, you probably already know what these are. But for those that don't work in the tech world, let's go ahead and briefly define what this is. UUID stands for Universally Unique Identifier. They are a 128-bit label used to identify objects in computer systems. They come in many different forms, uh, as seen here. For our use case, we're going to use version 4. It's a safe bet that all major tech companies use these, if not all companies that deal with data. With these identifiers being so popular, you might think that a billion dollar product would be able to take two lists of them and report on which ones have a missing UUID, right? One day, while working with some corrupted data, as my service errors were suggesting, uh, I decided to log that data and throw it into the latest GPT model. I said, I have some missing data here. Can you find the UUID that is missing from this list of node objects? Uh, the GPT model came back and said, you're all good, nothing's missing. Everything is accounted for. So to reproduce this experience, uh, let's use this code here to build a basic tree structure. Inside this tree structure, we'll have node objects. The node objects will consist of an ID field represented by a UUID and a, a node IDs field, which will represent the children of a node object. Um, we're going to output this, and I'm going to delete a couple node objects from the output to represent our corrupted data. And we're going to use this now corrupted data to test with the latest models. Now let's test. <laughs> 